Hello everyone, this is T-Junkie and welcome back to our second, our fifth, sorry, part and our uh, how to create a main menu tutorial. Now, in our previous one what we did is we got the low game sawyer, so if we click low game, you see player name, your gender and low character delete character and what I have changed is I've done the same as I did with player name and I added gender in front of the actual gender um, what we will do is when all this is when all our main menu the functionality is complete we'll go back and make it look better now in this part we're going to be focusing on the audio options but also what we're going to do is set up the graphics options as well so all we have to do then is just put the code in to make sure the graphics options does what it's meant to do and to begin with, what we should do really is come up to the top, and now we want to create a few, a few variables. Now what we want to do is private float and underscore game volume equals zero dot six f. Now, one thing to note: the volume actually in unity it goes from 0 to 1 and so you need all the values are 0 point and then the value at the moment 0 0.5 would actually be the middle but I've got 0 0.6 because it's slightly above the middle and also it's and also I've uh, included it I put an F at the end to dictate it as a float I could however have it like this if we declare a float, we have game vo and we have a variable game volume, and I could put it as six, but because this is a whole number, I don't need to put the f at the end. But with common practice, when you're doing a float, I always think it's at least valuable in some way to actually put the f at the end. But since the audio is naught to one, we need to put a naught point in front of it. Now that we've done that, we also create another one. Uh, this one we're not going to be using today, but it's, we're setting it up for uh, the next part. So private float underscore game fov equals and Unity defaults at 65, so I'm going to have that as 65 and dot zero f. Why not? And there we go, now we've got the game volume and the FOV there. What we want to do though is come down to the start function. And straight away what we do need to do is type in and score game, uh, game volume is equal to player prefs. Dot get. I'm having some weird thing going on my keyboard at the moment. Get string. Oh, sorry. It's not get string. It's get float. Uh, get float. Game volume. I'm having some weird problems with Unity at the moment. My O keys don't seem to be working. I I managed to type it in before. What is going on with Unity at the moment? Well, your mono development. It seems that my keyboard is completely locked up, but I could still use this. So while I fix my keyboard, I'm going to be right back. And we're back. Now, it was actually my keyboard. It was, I spilled some tea on it. <laughs> so I've had to change keyboards over. Now, what I'm going to do in the start, we do the going volume equals play press to get float game volume and then underscore game volume. 
now with that done, what that basically means is if we have a if we have a float game volume saved, it will set the game volume, which is this, to become what saved. This would be great if uh, if you've saved and applied a volume and then you quit out your game and you come back in, the volume is always going to be the same. Now also what we want to do is create another one. So we want to do if player prefs dot has key and then we what we want to do is also oh we don't want to do that. If it has key and we want to type in there game volume game volume if it has the key game volume now we need to now we need to set audio listener dot volume equals player pref dot get float game volume and it's called game volume and we've basically instantiated now so now well not instantiated it but now we've got it so now the audio listener volume is equal to the saved volume now and then we want to do else and I knew that was going to happen, I need to sort out unity I hate the defaults it has on the formatting else player pref dot set float game volume game volume and this one here we don't actually need the there no, we just need to get that now with that done we can start coding in the audio slider now there are a few things we need to do before however we need to create at the top here underneath the options I guess a couple of private balls so private ball I'm just called is audio options equals false and private ball I'm just called is graphics options equals false if graphics options equals false and audio options equals false we're going to need these because with our buttons down in the options menu down here we need to set them so we want to do underscore is graphics options equals false and underscore is audio options equals true and then vice versa in the below underscore is audio options equals false underscore is graphics options equals true And also what we need to do is this box here we don't want it to display until uh, until we have buttons actually clicked. So what we want to do is if underscore is audio options x equals true or underscore is graphics options x equals true. Then we want to display this. And then we actually want to display the box. 
And now if we save that off and then go into Unity. This is, this is Game of FOVs. We all get the menu script Game of Fears assigned, but the value is never used it's because we're not using the FOV just yet, but it won't impede your ability to run it. If we click Options, you notice the box is now gone. Click Audio Options, it shows up. Graphics Options, it's still there, obviously. But if I click Back and then click Options again, it's still there. And the reason for this is, if we go up to our Back button, up here, you see is level select low game options and new game. It's true. We've got that, but we've got the back button here, however, does not kill and set the others to false. So, all we need to do is do it, add that. So, is audio options equals false, and it's got is graphics options equals false. With that done, the box will now. will now not show up. I click it. Either or, it doesn't matter. Click back, click options again, and the box is still gone. Now, with that done, let's set up what we're going to be using. So, now we want to do a public void audio options display and public void graphics options display. And we're not going to be doing anything in this graphics options to begin with, except for just set it up ready. But what we're going to do is audio options display. We want to do if underscore is audio options equal, well, you don't need to do it equals true. That basically sets it standard to equal true. Equals true. And then graphics we want to do is if underscore graphics is graphics options equals true. And do is true. You can cast it as and if you can put a double equals and set it to true like this. It does exactly the same thing as just leaving it like that. Now with that set up, we also need nothing's actually going to display if we put anything in here. And that's because we need to add these audio options and graphics options display to our on GUI function. If we go to our on GUI, we've got the others here, right underneath the others. We'll just type in audio options display and graphics options display. Come in there. That way, all the GUI elements will actually render now. Let's so go all the way back down to audio options. What we need to do now is we could do a label, but we're just going to get the functionality out of the way. And what we do is do underscore game volume is equal to GUI dot horizontal horizontal slider and a new rect. Green dot width divided by two. If we look at the box, however, it's directly in the middle. So we want to do a plus ten on that. And then the height we want to do I'd say do it hundred from the hundred and fifty from the top I think would be probably the best. Um now the whole width of it screen dot width divided by 2 minus 20 I think that's correct and then how tall it is 25 and then after this what you want to do is you want to put underscore game volume and then you want to set between the, the parameters between so the left value is 0.0, .0 f and the right value is 1.0 f so now that we change the game volume however what we do need to do is underneath here to actually make it affect we need to do audio listener dot volume 
equals underscore game volume. Now with that done, we also need to create an apply button. Now what we'll do is we'll do if GUI dot button <coughs> the new rect at screen dot width divided by two plus ten and the height is screen dot height minus we told the buttons twenty five high so I'm gonna do it thirty five so it's ten off the floor as well. 150 wide and by 25 high. And now we're gonna gonna call the button something. It's gonna be called apply. And this button is gonna have some functionality to it. So what we're gonna do is set player pref dot set float. That's all. Never mind. Game volume. Let's go game volume. And what that's done. <coughs> what I'll do is save the game volume. Now if we save it off and go in. Audio. You can see we've got now the slider. Now it defaults to 0.6, which is roughly there. And then it goes right up to 1 and right down to 0. Now if I say I want to go to 100%, and if I click graphics options and click audio options again, you can see it's 100%. But if I was to click back off and then click back in, and then click options and audio options, it defaults back. Now what we want to do is change it to 100, click apply, click back. Now if we cancel that and go back in, options, audio options, it's saved. Now what we can do now is just do a label. So GUI.label is a new rec. And we'll do it screen dot width divided by two plus ten. We just do this uh, 30 from the top, 200 long, and 25. And this is basically going to be uh, just a game volume. And now when we go back in, options all the options it just says game volume right there okay the slider is a bit low but we can we can always adjust that and it's just saying game volume so you now know what that slider does and at the moment if you go into a game however you won't actually see anything but if we go main camera as default it has an audio listener I think it has an audio listener let's create another one component or game object create another camera yeah, it has an audio listener as standard, so that's fine. And uh, that'll be it for this part of the tutorial. We've got a uh, fully working audio options. There's going to be more, but that's when we create another scene, and we'll do we'll conquer that when we do the when we've completed the graphics. Thank you all for watching. I've been T Junkie, and I shall see you in the next part. Goodbye.